All right, folks, we've reached that part of the show for Mailbag, brought to you today by our good friends at AMC Theatres. Listen, if you've got a topic or a question you'd like us to address on the show, you can email us anytime at collidervideo at gmail.com. Send on in your questions, and maybe we can get yours on the show. So, Ashley, what's in the mailbag today? Gustavo Velez writes, Hey, guys, I love that the whole group is back together, almost as if the Avengers broke off and got back together for another round. <laughs> I bought tickets to New York Comic Con this October, and it's my first time going to a Comic Con outside of where I live. Are any of you planning on going to this year's NYC Comic Con? Thanks and good luck with the new set at Collider. Um, well, thank you very much. And I would be surprised if Schnepp doesn't go to New York Comic Con. I think he's he planning on going. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I would also be really surprised if we end up going as a group, like if we end up taking Collider Video and, and going there. Uh, not in the budget. Not, and it, it's it's an expensive proposal to up like eight of us, get on planes, fly to New York City, get the hotels. And uh, so for that reason, I would love to, People have been asking us for yeah. years to go to New York Comic Con. But it's just an expensive endeavor, and I, I don't think so. Do you think it'd be a good idea for us to go? For I good? would love for us to go to New York Comic Con. One of the reasons because I get to go home. <laughs> you know, oh, that's like, right. I would see some some people there too. But also, yeah, it's one I didn't get to go, and it's the one you guys were talking about on yesterday's show how San Diego Comic Con is getting a bit overcrowded, mm -hmm. and it's it, th this is I've heard nothing but positive things about New York Comic Con, the way that it has expanded and, and the way that they do I guess have regulated the space and stuff too, so I actually really want to go and I want to experience it because I've never been there before so I would love if we we're all able to go but you know, fingers crossed. I'd love for us all to go, I'd love for Christian to go so you can show me where to get a good slice of pizza I'll be there either hey. way, I'm going to be at New York Comic Con at least for Thursday and Friday, I'm going to be doing stand-up comedy at Gotham Comedy Club that week too, amongst other places I'll be popping in I won't be there Saturday because my aunt's getting married in New Jersey, nice. which we're all invited to <laughs> Everybody, all the audience. Are they flying us yeah, out? Because maybe, we, maybe then we can okay. actually go to Comic Con. Great. That would be amazing. <laughs> okay, then you heard it here first. All right, what's next? Desmond Bonner writes: Love the shows, Heroes, Mailbag, Jedi Council, and I've been watching for almost two years now. My question is about the two boxing movies coming out, Southpaw and Creed. I feel like they are basically the same movie. A boxer has to overcome some obstacle and in the end win slash lose in a climactic fight. Do you think fighter movies are too predictable? Million dollar baby kind of broke the mold and a film hasn't been as grand as that in a while for the genre what do you think will happen to the genre moving forward well here's the thing if you break it down to just those elements you're describing 90 percent of any movies because ultimately any movie is about a character who has to overcome some obstacle whether the opposition is presented by another human being whether the opposition is, is provided by circumstance whether the opposition is provided by environment whether the opposition is provided by their own weaknesses or limitations every movie or almost every movie is about somebody faces an obstacle and has to overcome them at the end mm -hmm. that's storytelling it's not just limited to the boxing genre um and to me I gotta be, be honest with you, like unlike zombie movies, which while I get a kick out of them sometimes, I mean, they all look the same to me personally. But Creed and Southpaw, despite the fact they're about boxers, I gotta be honest with you, the trailers to me make them look like two completely different movies. And I'm excited about both of them for different reasons. So I, yeah, I mean, if you really wanna boil it down to just those essential elements, you're pretty much talking about 75% of the films out there. I don't know, Christian, how do you see it? I agree with you 100%. I think that it, they look like radically different movies to me because first of all, South Pass was kind of, is based off like Eminem's life. And that's where, where the whole story came from in the first place. As where Creed, basing it off this franchise, and it's, I wouldn't say a retelling of the Rocky story, but there's definitely similarities so far what we've seen just in the trailer, um, but basing it off th this franchise. But as far as boxing goes, yeah, you have to. You go by that formula in because the, the, that's what boxing is. It's what it's always been. Even, it's even I watched this great thing on Netflix the other day. I think it was just called The Champs, and it was about like Bernard Hopkins and and Mike Tyson, and there were uh, Evander Holyfield, and I think uh, one other guy. And they just talked about how these guys came up, and they all had these obstacles, but what made them diff different characters and how they handled it. And that's what it is in these trailers. Mm -hmm. You have a guy like Jalen Hall's character, who's who is like a, he is the champ. He is an undefeated champion who's got to go through this tragedy in order to whatever is defend his title is where you have Creed who's this kid who's fighting in the middle of nowhere has been fighting and then needs some guidance and seeks out Rocky so it's all about the characters if you go back to like Raging Bull um, or you go back to uh, you, you know all, all these all these old school movies that were all about boxing it's about the characters and what the boxing does in general at least for, the good ones are the good ones but even even the bad ones though what boxing always does even as a sport it tests 
you as a person. Like anyone who talks about boxing, you see like it, it shows you what you're really made of, and that's what these movies do. You're seeing what this character is made of throughout the duration, whether it be an hour and a half, two hours, and that's what makes boxing movies so different is by the characters of the movie. Listen to you talk about boxing. I want to go run 10 miles now. I'm like inspired. That was like a Rocky montage right there. I, I want to see both these movies for different reasons, too. I'm looking forward to Southpaw for Jake Gyllenhaal's performance. Maybe it's an Oscar-worthy kind of thing. For Creed, obviously, the lineage, the fact that this takes place in the Rocky universe. You can say anything you want about Avengers or Superman or Batman. We're back in the Rocky universe, kids. Rocky Balboa is going to be in this movie, but from the trailer, it doesn't look like they're going to be leaning on Rocky being in the film to tell a story. This is going to be its own thing. And if you talk about how, oh, you, you keep going these boxing movies and it has to be this climactic fight... Just think about a boxing movie where you get a nice fight in the beginning and then there's just no more fights. Or a street fight, Rocky Five. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, but it goes beyond Ooh. that as well. When you look at other combat sports, too, you look at Warrior. One of the things that made Warrior such a great and underrated film yeah. that it is was the characters who relies on that. And I am very excited that now, apparently, that's the one thing I couldn't get out of my head. Watching that Creed trailer, which I liked very much, I didn't seem to like it as much as a lot of other people did yet, but I'm excited for the film. Was that all I could think about is they're launching, oh my, like seriously, oh my God, they're launching a Rocky cinematic universe. They are literally, mm -hmm. next comes the Polly origin story. All right. Hey, oh. woman, the Clubber Lang story. <laughs> uh, like, whatever. What's that robot that Polly had as a birthday Happy present? birthday, Polly. Happy, happy birthday, Polly. It's going to be, you know, that, that robot's adventure. I want to know what happened to Yvonne Drago's character. I think that he probably started training again to be in the Special Forces, ended up in the Expendables, which you're going to uh. see in Expendables 4. Bring it. It's all connected. <laughs>